Hey, what's up, Money Plays? Yo, this place is awesome. Yo, give it up for the, the great, this great place here, keeping it real. Your host, keeping it awesome. This place is so, I'm so, I'm so blessed to be here. I gotta say that, you know, like this, this place, uh, my first time in Las Vegas was not a good time. Did not, did not enjoy it. And then my third time here, and I'm like, this place is fucking cool. This place is really cool. I gotta say that. It, give it up for all yourselves out here. You know, I gotta say though, like Portland, Portland, Oregon, where I'm from, people are always like, you know, like, oh, Portland, you know, keep Portland weird. But it's like, yo, Las Vegas is fucking weird, man. Like, Las Vegas is fucking weird. Like, you, you got, like, there's these trucks driving around. They're not transporting anything. They just got a giant billboard with lights on it. It says, like, Blue Man Group. Who the fuck looks at a truck and is like, oh, I'm going to go to see Blue Man Group, you know, because of that fucking truck. Like, who's getting paid driving that fucking thing, you know? I, I, that's a job that... I don't know, man. Las Vegas is weird. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I love it though. That's 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 the cool thing about it. Is it's, you know, uh, a lot of people think I'm hypocritical. Like I, I, I call myself an optimistic nihilist, otherwise known as an anarchist that stoked Trump's in office. You know, and it's like, I mean, it's like you know, if he's gonna build that wall, somebody's got to burn it down. Am I right? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Portland will be the first fucking place that'll burn that shit down. There's no walls over there, but, you know, we'll, we'll burn something, you know? Like, fucking... Like, you know, and another thing that uh, it, it really pisses off... I, I just like pissing off people sometimes. Like, not, not, not the wrong people. I like pissing off the right people. You know what I mean? Like, the right, the alt-right people, right? So, like, whenever, you know, you want to piss off some alt-right people, all you got to say is that... Uh, well, what I say is I'm a Christian anarchist. And that, that doesn't make sense to them, you know what I mean? Like, it, doesn't, it pisses off anarchists and it pisses off Christians at the same exact time. But, you know, it's like, all you got to say is, like, you know, you know what? Jesus was the first anarchist flipping over tables and stuff. Like, he, he wouldn't stand for that thing, you know what I mean? Like, and then I go around saying, God hates flags. I've done peyote. I'm Native American. Shit, you know, if God exists, he wouldn't want humans going around flying up nation state flags, telling where other humans can and can't go. Anyway. <laughs> Optimistic nihilism, yeah, it's a philosophy I, I go by, you know, it's fucking weird stuff going on. Uh, I don't know, this place is really cool. I'm so stoked to be here. Uh, let's see, uh, you know, uh, yeah, so I got my DNA tested. It was like my birthday present from my mom a couple years ago. And all that really means now is that my DNA is owned by Mormons. That's, that's what that means. They can literally sell that shit now. And, and all I know is that I'm Native American, but I have no idea what tribe. That's, that's what that means. And then, they, and then the Mormons can sell it to fucking... I, I don't even know who they're going to sell that shit to. But I, that's, that's what happens when you get your ancestry tested. But so when, when, they, when they gave me this like printout of like my, my, like where I'm from, it just had like all of North and South America circled. <laughs> and it was just like, you're, you're over here. <laughs> so... Being a Mexican Canadian, you know, it's, I'm still gonna get deported. You know, it's like, like that doesn't, like that doesn't flow. I mean, I look white to people, and it's funny because I go up to Portland, like the most like politically correct, progressive fucking place, right? You know, all accepting. But I go up there, and all I see are these like white people that are like looking at me as like I'm white, and I'm like the problem here all of a sudden. But it's just like the police officers don't know that. Somebody's got to mention, you know, like the hair and the gauges, you know, it's like that's, 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 that's also a selling point for this racist tax here, you know, I got to say. It's real, it's real, you know, uh, I saw this, uh, somebody, somebody in a bathroom, like, wrote on, like, bubble letters, like, you know, like, middle school bubble letters, like, with, like, stars on them and stuff, and they put, racism is real. And it's like, wait a minute, like, is that... Is that like trying to tell people that racism exists or is that trying to sell racism exists? Like, I, I don't know. I don't get, I don't get where this boundary's at, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Uh, so I wrote a, I wrote a children's book a while ago. It's called Hipstrapotamus Makes a Friend. I only wrote that book because, you know, it's almost October, right? It's almost October, which means almost three months sober. Court mandated, court mandated sobriety. Uh, it's it, you don't have to clap for court mandated sobriety. You know, really, it's like I, that's why I've been drinking tonight. It's as long as like the parole officer doesn't know it. So anyway, I've been trying to like do better things. So I'm writing this children's book, right? It's called Hipstrapotamus Makes a Friend, and in this book, uh, Hipstrapotamus and Hippiepotamus are hanging outside the strip club, 
and uh, Hipster Potamus is smoking a cigarette. Hippie Potamus lights up a joint, you know? He lights up a jazz cigarette. He's like, yo, Hipster Potamus, you want to drag this, this uh, joint? Hipster Potamus goes, I smoked weed before it was legal. So I'm trying to find a publisher for this children's book, and uh, I'm not finding any luck with that. I don't know, I feel like, you know, it's like, maybe, may, you know, like, we gotta, we gotta convince kids that it's not cool to smoke weed so they do, like, better shit, like, LSD or ayahuasca or peyote or one of those fucking things. <laughs> Let's see what I can, what, what can I end this on here? You know, like, yeah, I, people think I'm hypocritical, but, you know, it's like the times right now, the times right now are pretty crazy, right? So it's like, uh,. I mean, shit, everything's getting rolled back with this whole fucking Trump administration and all that. And it's just like, you know what, at this point, like, I, you know, I'm all for, like, socialized health care and all this stuff, because, like, we got to take care of the people if we're going to do anything better. But at this point in time, I'm like, fuck it. Let's privatize the fire department, you know? Privatize the fire department. That way, when these motherfuckers' house is on fire and they're going through Yelp reviews trying to figure out who to fucking hire to put out the fucking fire... You know, then they'll realize how stupid it is to socialize, you know, like, uh, wait, privatize. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hang it up on that. Hey, thanks so much, Money Plays. Keep it real. <laughs>